Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. That's me coming at you with that right there, 2019 Panini Prism Football. Five box Ram Team Break number four. This is Mega Box Edition. I guess the Rookie Autographs Prism Neon Green are your Mega Box exclusives. There's an early bird special right here. So first 10 spots have a chance at an extra spot, that 16th spot, and then we'll double that list up. So let's use a new list right here. Let's roll it, let's randomize it. Snake Eyes, name on top after two, gets an extra spot. One, two, easy. Boom, Matthew Shearer, there you go. You are the early bird that catches the extra spot, the worm. So now there's 16 right here. Let's bring that list in there. So one spot gets you two random teams, no vet commons ship as you saw, so let's uh, double up, uh, uh. and new dice, let's roll it, randomize it, five and a three, eight times for names and teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. and eighth and final time after eight, we've got Raymond down to Brandon. Oh, let's use this other tab here. All right, eight times for teams. Eighth and final time. Good luck. We got the Niners down to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. All right, so, oh man, I didn't even, look at this. I didn't even finish this part right here. <laughs> for 2019 Panini Prism Football. Man. It's just 2019, right? Yeah. All right, so Raymond with the Niners, Thomas with the Vikings, Robert with the Seahawks, Matthew with the Ravens, Eric with the Broncos, Charles with the Saints, Jesse with the Panthers, Charles, last spot mojo, Philadelphia Eagles, Seth, Jaguars, Cowboys, Chiefs, Charles, Titans, Robert, Bears, Matthew with the Rams, Scott with the Packers, Jesse with the Dolphins, Scott with the Bills, Eric with the Colts, uh, Matthew with your early bird spot, the Lions, Thomas with the uh, Las Vegas, I guess it's Oakland Raiders for 2019 stuff, but Las Vegas Raiders now, Seth with the Bengals, Brandon with the Falcons, Raymond with the Chargers, Thomas with the Texans, Charles with the Cardinals, Brandon with the Browns, Thomas with the Giants, Brandon with the Redskins, Scott with the Jets and Steelers, Matthew, your other last, uh, last spot, other, your other early bird spot, Patriots, and Brandon with the Buccaneers. Let's get all that on one screen. Feel free to trade if you'd like. So we're going to pause the video, and we're going to see if there's going to be any trades when we come back. So stick around. All right, and we are back. A little bit of trade chatter, but in the end, no deals were done. It's all good. Got the final printout hot off the presses right here. There we go. Random team four. And I believe this is the last uh, five boxes from that mega case that we opened up. Good luck, everybody. Please check the schedule, Corey. I just dropped it into the chat. Um, oh, nice. And a mosaic is full. All right, perfect. We can do one of those little packs, too, to help give away some spots for tomorrow. Nice, thank you, James. That'll happen. We'll we'll get that. What time is it right now? We'll get to that in a few hours. All right. Good luck, Corey. All right. We got Brett Rippin is our first autograph. Yes. So I guess it's these green ones that are exclusive to this set. Which I always. I like this pattern and design. That'll be for my rivals, the Broncos. That's going to be for Eric M. Oh, 
Now, uh, per usual for breaks like this, the veteran commons won't ship, but obviously rookies and parallels like this will ship. Rookies, of course, will ship. And that's considered a parallel, that's silver, so that, that will ship as well. And inserts like this, unstoppable, will also ship. All right, that was box one, box two. Mega boxes crack me up. It's like it's almost feels a little excessive for just a small little stack of packs. I'm a Raiders fan, James Johnson. It'll be interesting to see how this season goes. They got a lot of weapons on the team, a lot of new young weapons on the team for Derek Carr. It'll be good for him to see what he can do with that. Got a good, uh, Got a good random. Got a good uh, random assortment of defensive players as well. And that's what the Raiders really need to work on. This is Patrick Goodwin's team right here. There's Caleb Wilson. That's a catch. Nick Stover. That is very optimistic. Thank you. <laughs> Schedule is in. You gotta read the schedule, Corey. That'll probably answer your question about about noir. There's Miles Boykin. Please read that schedule, folks. It's in the chat. I'll be frequently dropping that so you're you're up to date on what's what's happening here. Nick Stober was saying that uh, <laughs> that Raiders will win a. Su he's a Bears fan, but he's saying Raiders will win a Super Bowl in the next three four years. That is very optimistic, but but that that would make me very happy. I think it's a big test for uh for Derek Carr. I think he's finally got some consistency in coaching, you know, and coordinators and whatnot, because he he's had a few in his in in his career, many in his career. So that that can't really help. Now he's got some weapons. He's got a good running game. The defense is is a problem, you know. So that the, they've got to, they've certainly got to improve there. And then just put, you know, four quarters of the game together. What's the, the old the old coaches' cliches? They need all facets: offense, defense, and special teams to work together for four full quarters, and then and then try to beat Patrick Mahomes for the next fifteen years or something like that, and go from there. So we'll see. But good news is the Raiders have been have been in, since Gruden came aboard. They've been they've deconstructed the team and now they're reconstructing the team. You know, and that that had to yeah, that meant getting rid of guys like Khalil Mack, but, but it was a full teardown and rebuild. So I don't know. I'm optimistic. Super Bowl. And I feel like Mahomes will win a Super Bowl, another one in the next three or four years. All right. And there's Anthony Johnson. That's a catch. That's for the Buccaneers. That'll be for Brandon Walker. James is in uh, D.C. So the Skins are about to be... Re are, are, you a, are you a Redskins fan? If you are, do you have a preference? We were talking about this earlier. Do you have a preference on what the team name will be, like it, a realistic team name. Oh, you're not, okay. Actually, you know what, let me pull, uh, let me pull that Kyler Murray out. I know that's not a silver, but those rookie cards. Are... Oh, 
There's Darius Geis for the newly renamed team. We don't know what the Redskins are going to turn into. The Washington Trumps. What if it just changed with the president every year? Just whoever the president is, the name just changes. I'd like to see, uh, like a, and I, I mentioned this before, but I, I'd like to see sort of an old historical kind of name, like the Senators, right? That's basically what I'm thinking of. I know that's that's a those were baseball team names, but that has history with with the district, so I think that'd be kind of cool. Ooh, that's interesting. Change the city name too. DC something or other. Yeah, if you're gonna if you're gonna rebrand, brand, might as well go full bore. DC Sentinels. Yeah, that's a, that, that's nice. That's that's one I haven't heard. That sounds kind of cool. There's Devin Bush. Nice. Steelers. That'll be for Scott and the Steelers. <laughs> ben Clark, who, who hails from down under. I like the alliteration there. Washington Wombats. NFL just cornering the... <laughs> Dan Snyder cornering that Australian NFL market. There's Lance Johnson. That's for the Texans. Charles says, figure out what the most used high school football name is and change it to that so it fits in. That sounds boring. Let me have an opportunity to, to really rebrand. I would assume it's some bird or a bird or a cat. There's Drew Locke silver, nice. That'll go to the Broncos, my rivals. I'm nervous about the Broncos. See, the AFC West is gonna get tough real quick. That's why I was, so I'm saying it's optimistic for the Raiders. They gotta, I mean, who knows? He's got weapons too. And they've got a good defense already. I mean, Patrick Mahomes is gonna be tough to beat. Yeah, Sean, we do we do personal seven nights a week. Jason's just uh, snacking on some dinner really quick, and then he'll be back live. How do I think Joe Burrow will do in his first season with the Bengals? Poorly. <laughs> it's not a very good team there, right? I think he he might individually do well at times, you know, which I think will be opt will, which will be good. But even 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 Kyler Murray struggled. Kyler Murray struggled, you know? Usually those number one picks are going to bad teams, so it's gonna be tough for those those quarterbacks. He's gonna end up like RG3. Yeah, I don't know, hopefully the short, short of that offensive line maybe. And the last box, we got Darwin Thompson. Darksiders was just saying about the Chiefs, he doesn't see any other teams really coming out of the AFC and until Mahomes and Lamar Jackson are out. I don't know, you could get lucky one year. Joe Flacco won a Super Bowl against a lot of odds. Eli Manning won too. There's Tyler Eifert. Speaking of the Bengals, that goes to Seth. 
Long term, though, listen, if the Bengals play their cards right, they might have a franchise quarterback for the next, you know, 10, 15 years. And, and I mean, that, that would be huge. All right, and that, Josh Jacobs at the back, that, my friends, is that. That was a quick little five-box random team break of Prism Football. We haven't, done a, we haven't done a football break in a minute or two. So good to chat about that. Random team number four in the books on a Thursday. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time on jazzpeacecasebreaks.com.